Let's talk about Cassie Sandsmark and the plot to my first Wonder Woman solo movie in my DC Cinematic Universe. Way back during the fall of the Greek pantheon when Atlantis was formed and Poseidon died and when Themyscira was formed, the Greek gods made a decision that they needed to remove themselves from human society. They escaped and lived in seclusion, mostly just interacting with the Amazons and the Atlanteans at times. But for the most part, they had no contact with the outside world. That is, until Helena Sandsmark came onto the scene. Helena is a Greek historian and archaeologist who is specifically looking into the possibility that the Greek gods were not only real, but perhaps even metahuman. Her devotion and research into this topic eventually drew attention from somebody. Zeus, the king of Olympus. Zeus disguised himself as a mortal man, followed Helena around for a bit, eventually seduced her, and got her pregnant. Just some classic horny Zeus for you. Nine months later, after Zeus had thoroughly dipped and abandoned Helena, Cassie was born. Cassie would grow up slowly developing her metahuman abilities, which include lightning control, flight, super strength, super speed, all things inherited right from her pop. But she grew up idolizing Wonder Woman. With her mom being so into Greek mythology, Wonder Woman came up a lot. And this little girl really looked up to that woman. She founded the Justice Society. She fought the Nazis. She, she was a total fucking badass. And she wanted to be just like her when she grew up. And little did Cassie know... She's essentially Diana's sister. Zeus was the one who brought Diana to life. He gave her life. He's basically Diana's dad, too. And because of that reason, it would eventually lead Wonder Woman and Cassie to meet. Unfortunately, the circumstances aren't exactly great when they do. Ares had grown sick and tired of living their lives in seclusion. He couldn't stand it anymore. He missed being worshipped by the masses. He loved the spotlight of being a god, and he wanted to go back to the world to get it again. But Zeus and the other Olympians forbade it. But then Ares learns about Cassie's existence. Not only did Zeus go back and interact with mankind, he had a kid with one of them. And that was the last straw for Ares. And so Ares slaughtered the Greek gods. And he started with his lover, Aphrodite, who in my DC Cinematic Universe is Desire of the Endless. He drove his sword through her heart and she reset. In my DC Cinematic Universe, if you kill a member of the Endless, they sort of regenerate like Doctor Who. He kills Aphrodite and she regenerates into her classic comics Neil Gaiman appearance. And now, with no emotional attachment, only memories of what it was like to be on the Greek Pantheon, she leaves. And with the most powerful member of the Pantheon gone, he slaughters the rest of the gods. And then he moves on to mankind. He needs to put the fear of God into people so they start worshipping him as one again. And while he's at it, might as well kill that brat half-breed that Zeus made. Because he's now attacking the mainland, that's what brings Wonder Woman into the situation. Wonder Woman eventually saves Cassie from him, and the two of them team up, and they whoop this dude's ass. And that is Cassie Sandsmark and the plot to my first Wonder Woman solo film in my DC Cinematic Universe.